Yeah, this is what it looks like. Pure craziness, pure chaos. Do you see this? This is what you don't want to happen. That's not success. This is not success. That's not success. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> it's not beautiful. These are the kind of caps that I get. You can order them with Amazon, but because my husband, he had ordered me, I think it was like a dozen caps on Amazon. It was pretty cheap. Didn't have to wait too terribly long, but whenever I go into the wig store, um, the Beauty Depot that I told you guys about, they have an aisle, of course, with these on, which is, but was, it's like really strange though. That store does not offer like a pack of them. They only do two at a time, or you get just like your regular stocking at the counter, which I thought was really weird because with it being as big of a wig store as it is, you would think that they would have options for people who like to buy in bulk, especially people who are kind of like me. I'm constantly adding wigs to my collection and it's just going to keep getting bigger. Um, so yeah, it would be great if they started carrying that. But anyways, they have them in two packs. That's what I get. This is actually pretty light. This is lighter than what I actually would prefer to be honest with you, but it's the one that I had on in all the videos and none of you guys really noticed a difference. So it's not like it stands out that far, but I think I'm pretty tan, especially with the freckles. It kind of sets that off. Do you see the discoloration here? I don't know if that's just strictly like a suntan. I really think that's what it is. The wig keeps this part right here covered and it just doesn't get in the sun. So it looks whiter. It is so strange. Also, some of this dark that you see right here, that's just glue. That's just the glue. Um, it is, it's just such a mess. If you, I am getting better and better at it as I go, cause I am picking up on tips and tricks myself on how to be more efficient. This is a disaster because I slept with the wig on. You don't want to do that one because it just messes up your wig. I mean, it does the, the frizzing and the fraying and just everything you don't want it to do. That's what it does at night. And if you don't have a steamer, I don't have a steamer yet. If you don't have one of those, don't sleep in your wig. That's my first suggestion. Um, it also looks like this. The wig also looks like this, not just because I slept in it, but because I just continued to wear it, wore it pretty much all day. Um, yeah, so it needs some life brought back into it. It actually doesn't look too bad on the camera right now looking at it, but I promise you, you see that it's super frizzed out. So I am about to wash it and I will document the process. Okay. So I washed it, didn't record it because I'm retarded, but I'm not about to go through that process again. It is so simple. You put lukewarm to cold water in your tub, squirt your favorite shampoo in it, dip your wig in that once, twice, swish it around. You'll see the dirt nastiness come out of your wig. You rinse it through the water and that is it. That is all you do. Um, there are so many tutorials and videos that tell you that you need to do all these extra things and they're completely ruining it. Um, that is all I did was dip it in the water, put my favorite shampoo and the curls already look back to incredible again. And I'm just going to add a product in here that's going to smooth some of these flyaways and it's going to help tremendously. Got my beautiful mannequin in here. Going to put her on here after she's dried up a little bit product in here, wrap her while she's on the head, set her to the side and check back in. So, okay. So I am working on drying my wig. I told you guys just a minute ago. It is so simple. I could, sh I, I really, I could have recorded the washing process, but I am telling you the way I am saying it, I will repeat it again. The way I am saying it is exactly what you do. There is no, but if, what, and maybe, no, none of that. Just exactly what I say. You fill your tub or sink with lukewarm or cold, not hot, lukewarm or cold, not freezing, lukewarm or cold water. You fill it up just enough that your wig can be emerged in it. You dunk it once, pull it out, twice, pull it out, put it back in the water. Take your shampoo, favorite shampoo, worst shampoo. He said, they said, it doesn't matter. When I say he, I watched a video earlier of this, this gentleman. 
He is incredible. Um, he does a lot of drag shows. He is incredible and he is full of amazing knowledge of about makeup and wigs and little tips and tricks and he, I don't know I just absolutely love his channel he's phenomenal but he is the one that kind of told me how to do what I'm doing now because this method is so simple and it's so easy so I'm sharing it with you guys but anywho so this is what I'm doing now towel wig just pat drying it that's all I'm doing that is it hey guys Okay, so the wig is pretty much completely dry. Um, I love how it turned out because it put the curls back in place and kind of locked it and it feels really, really soft. Um, and it still has some of that fray, you know, kind of sticking out. But honestly, to me, that makes it more realistic because anybody who has curls in Florida they know that it stays kind of with a frizz to us. <laughs> it's just more realistic. Um, but it, the wash really did do it justice. It smells wonderful too. Um, so what I've done was apply the cap I told you about. And I was just about to start cutting it when I realized that I needed to record this for you guys. So I have applied my first layer of glue. This is the glue that I get, it is wonderful, I swear by it, but it is $25 for this bottle. <laughs> but it's worth it, <laughs> it works really good. Okay, so what I did was take some of this glue and I applied it with my finger right here along my hairline after I put the cap on. I literally just slid the cap on and you're seeing the starts of me cutting it after the glue is put on. When the glue is put on, it is a white color when it gets put on. Um, and you want to wait until it turns clear. Once it is clear, it's time to go. So I start cutting around. Like I said, it doesn't, it really does not have to be perfect because again, uh, the wig is going to go over it. I said again, as though I mentioned that a minute ago and I didn't, um, but the wig is going to cover any of this inconsistent, I meant, and cutting. It does not have to be perfect at all. Again, your wig is going to be covering it. So, as you see, I am cutting as close as I can to my hairline, but not right on top of it because the wig, that part of the lace that I kept, that little tiny part of the lace on the wig that I kept is gonna stop about right here once I glue. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more of this off just a little bit till it stops about right here is where I want it to stop um, but it is really stuck on there like I said I use that and I also use my got to be glue you spray this right here along that hairline you spray I use a rag dab it to help lock in that to speed that process up spray it again maybe once or twice again drying it each time then you apply one layer with your finger here across the hairline. Wait till it turns clear. Another layer, clear, then you cut. Like I said, you're cutting close to the hairline, but not too, too close because your wig and the placement. And I used to be so worried because I would be like, oh my God, I want the hairline of the wig though to start exactly where mine does or it won't look real. And that's not true. You can move this hairline up a little more than where your natural is and it's not gonna look funny. It's not gonna look weird. It, it, the decent wigs are designed for that purpose anyways and it just works. You gotta go with it though. You can't be scared sometimes. I mean, the only reason I'm even able to make this video for you guys is because I have done so much trial and error. I have, I started with zero and I mean zero knowledge of anything. I had went from using like the clip-in extensions with my real hair to wigs and that's just a whole other world just because it's hair doesn't mean it's they're just not even in the same boat to be honest with you there's so much more maintenance with wigs anyways because it's a full head of hair versus just a few weft clip-ins um so the mate the maintenance part is is very different but to me i absolutely love the wigs over the clip-ins even if my head wasn't shaved and I had nice hair that was lengthy. I don't think I'd ever go back to the clip-ins now because to be honest with you, the clip-ins were doing a lot of damage to my scalp and ripping out the root of healthy hair. So wigs really are just the best way to go. 
to the ladies that are constantly dyeing their hair like I was, invest in wigs. It's very reasonable pricing, especially those ladies that dye their hair professionally all the time. You are going to save a tremendous amount of money if you get the wigs. I'm telling you, it's wonderful. The wigs that I'm using, this wig right here was like $45. You cannot beat that. I have gotten so many compliments. So many people think that it's real. Um, it, it, it was worth every bit of the money. It really, really was. 45 bucks is just not anything when you think of what you're spending at the salon. And that's true. You're spending so much at the salon after you pay for the time. And, I'm, and that's not to knock people in that industry more power to you because that is truly a skill and a gift and a talent. And they went to school for it, obviously. So I'm not saying they don't deserve the money they're asking for. I'm just saying that it's like at some point you have to go easy on your hair. And any cosmetologist, any hairdresser will tell you that, that you, you don't need to be coming and dyeing your hair every two months even you just you don't and so many of us love to express ourselves through our hair so to me it just makes all the more sense to get a wig you know you can have just dyed your hair and all of a sudden your boyfriend broke up with you and you're feeling like shit so you need to go back to black but you just went blonde because you were feeling yourself and you were happy and then you just broke your heart and so now you need to go back black but you can't do that because you just put all that time and effort into getting your hair blonde and now you need to go back black. Well, bitch, go get a wig. Go get a black wig and you can be Becky somebody else, you know? And feel good about yourself. Shit. I know I get a lot of my confidence from my wigs. I'm just saying it helps play part into it. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel feminine. Now, I'm not saying that you're not feminine if your head's shaved. Because my head is shaved and I love it and I embrace it and I feel sexy as fuck with it. But sometimes I feel better about myself when it's long and it's pretty and I can be like all princessy and whipping and shenane and you know all that good stuff so anyways I put it over my ear I cut the holes in the sides if you see me do that so that way I have it like this and it helps pull that tight so that way it can lock and sit a little bit longer so I'm going to leave you guys here for a minute so I can touch this up and get this a little tighter like I said and I'll be back check with you guys okay so I put one more layer of the glue here after I cut it a little closer as you can see it's not perfect it doesn't look like smooth or beautiful but it doesn't matter because this giant thick wig is about to go right on top of it I'm just waiting for some of this to get a little clearer here and then I'm going to put the wig on and you guys are going to see me adjust it and get it fitted and how I'm able to make it look uh, realistic uh, most people put a little bit of like their foundation but I don't wear foundation I have foundation, I have war foundation, but for the most part, I don't like foundation. Just about all of them cover my freckles and now I'm at a point in my life where I appreciate my freckles and I love them about myself, so I'm not really trying to cover them up. So I don't really use foundation and I don't think it really works for me again because of the freckles. I actually have freckles on my scalp. So if I'm gonna be realistic, then I would have put foundation down that matches this and then gone through and put little freckles on there. And that just seemed a little ridiculous. So I'm just not gonna do it at all. <laughs> and I never do and it looks fine and nobody ever knows the difference. So again, on some of those other tutorials that you see on YouTube, they really are doing the most. They're going so extra and it's all for nothing and sometimes it's counterproductive. It quite literally ruins the other processes that are supposed to be there, more natural, whatever. So. The simpler, the better when it comes to wigs. I don't care what anybody tells you. I don't care who comes from my head either. You bitches are crazy. The ones that are wasting your time and spending hours and hours doing this and doing that. Um, it just seems really crazy to me. I don't get it. But to each their own. I have found a way that is quicker and more efficient. And um, I just don't see why you wouldn't take that route. Uh, so, yeah. I'm waiting for this to dry. And I'll be back. Yo. Back already. Here we go. So when I put this on, I try to make sure the front here stops about right there. I don't want it to go ahead and land in this. That's a no-no. You don't want it to go ahead and get stuck and it can get hard and it can get sticky at this process, but you just have to try. I literally have no advice for you other than to try to aim that front part, not here, to get it to set here. That's it, that's all I got. So here I go. This is how I hold it, this is how I do it.
Oh yeah. See, I had to stop back there. So pull all these little flyaways that have gotten stuck to the glue already. Everything feels sufficiently sticky, but it is dry. It's like a tacky. That's what they say. Wait for it to get like a tacky substance. Okay. Well, we've done that. And now I've got to make sure these little hairs here are stopping about there. And pull it in here. And I'm going to go back and cut these, by the way, so I don't think I forgot. <laughs> Make sure that's lined up. I personally, once I get it there, I bought these today for me at nine cent. The dollar store, I'm gonna use these to help me keep these pieces like out of my face. I probably should have had this set up. I'm not a very good uh, tutorialer. <laughs> Maybe it'll set me apart from everybody else. I don't know. Anyway, so see. That is covered, right? That's what we want. I'm gonna go back in, touch, 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 touch. Make sure I pull all these babies out and set my freaking hair exactly the way that I want it. Bam, 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 bam. Make sure those little teeny tiny hair, like I said, are pulled back. See, it was lifting right there a little bit. So once you set it down, okay, guys, if you feel like it is still lifting in the front, which mine just showed me that it is a little, then that literally and simply just means that I need to add more glue. That's all. I will lift up that part and I will tap a little bit of glue under there and it will fix my situations. So, the sides here, I just push it down. That's all I do. I get it lined da -da 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 up with my ear. And you can fill it with your own hands if it's in the right mic area. Yes, I said mic area because I am strange. So, again, same on this side. Make sure all the little hairs are not sticking to the glue because I can see it that it is. Now I see why they stop the videos and then they like, they're like, I'm sorry, I can't do this on camera because it's hard. So this is really hard. So I had to just pull my little um, handy mirror out just now so that I could better see what I'm doing because chaos. See these little tiny hairs? No, ma'am. We're not gonna have them stuck in the glue. Mm -hmm. Nope, you gotta pull all that out. It doesn't always happen when I put um, wigs on either. Sometimes it is so quick. Um, but because I am taking the time to do this freaking tutorial, of course, I'm having issues I wouldn't normally have. So there's glue stuck in the hair here. That's not, that's not what you want. <laughs> but it happens, I guess. Just not to me that often. Anyways, so I'm gonna push this down now to where it goes. Bam, baby. Bada boom, baby. You see that? How beautiful how smooth. So that is about what you do here. I'm adjusting a little bit in the back now. Nothing fancy, nothing too fancy. Taking the little comb piece that's attached to the wig, tucking it under the um, cap in the back, making sure this is nice and tight, and it is, it feels great. And I'll be back momentarily to show you how I touch up, because see, when I pull here, I don't want it to do that. I want it to be locked into place. So that is when you go back and you do your touch up glues and you're done. But I'm gonna do my touch up glues off camera and then just kind of show you guys the final result. Um, so, hey, hey. So I finished doing all the finishing touches and the sets and look cool, look great. Look at, it's great. It's like wonderful. I've got my little 
frizzy baby hairs. I like it on me. I'm not doing the where they press them down and the waves. They look so fresh that way. I absolutely love it. And maybe in time I will look into doing those super, cur you know, cute curly extra bits right here on the side. I just like, I like it better this way. I feel like it's just more realistic for me. I don't know how else to say that. I have it clipped back right here just so you guys can see the way it has decided to fit around me. Oh, that's part of my cap back here, guys, that you see. I always go back, cut these extra little bits that stick out in the back, and you're good to go. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the finished look. I love it. It feels really good. Um, it really, it took so longer than needed though this time I know you guys weren't on for like the whole thing obviously but this took so so much longer than what it needed to it typically does not take as long as it took tonight I had a couple of issues um, with the glue and then like setting it in but that's on me um, the more you guys do this the better you will get I did not get to where I am but my first try, I had, again, a lot of trial and error and learning um, just as I go. So, and you will too. You just got to make that first um, plunge at the, at the wig store. Just put yourself out there. And I can give you advice. I am totally open and available for giving advice. So, if you want to write me and ask me a question, if you happen to get in the wig store and you're looking for something video chat me screw it why not i'll help you through it i mean we all need help a little bit i wish maybe somebody had done that for me and nobody did and i was all by my lonesome figuring it out i'm glad i did it that way ultimately but maybe some of you just don't have the time you know maybe you're working full time lots of hours but you just want to feel good about yourself but you want to get the right wig you want to feel you want to make sure you're right you know making the right choice and maybe you just need a little bit of opinion somebody else's opinion who does this and um your girl i will be there for you so just give me a holler and um i'll be there so yeah that's how it looks bye guys so i had to run to the store real quick guys it's one o'clock in the morning um but this is what i do i wanted to show real quick this is what i do for like about an hour or two after i set my wig in with the glue and all that good stuff i get a very strong band this band has velcro it happened to come with one of my wigs that i purchased from the beauty depot um but it's great it's obviously adjustable um, but i put it around the edge like my hairline because it locks that glue into place and i do it for about an hour to two hours like i said so